In this video, you'll learn how to create your very first project using Help and Manual 9. But before we instruct you on creating your project, let us take a moment to look at some samples of technical writing. Visit the website mentioned in the description below where you can take a look at projects completed by our students. Each of these .pdf files were created using a separate project in Help and Manual. As you can see, these are user assistance or help documentation of familiar web applications such as Facebook, Gmail, Google Meet, Zoom, and programs such as VLC Media Player and ShareX, the image and screen capturing program. Whenever you wish to create a user manual or online help or any of the other help deliverables in Help and Manual, you begin by creating a project. Also, take a look at the Otis SIEM help files. These four different output files were created from one single source, and that is the advantage of using a hat. Also, without the training provided by the maker of this software, the Otis help documentation couldn't have been possible. For our course, we'll be creating help documentation for the email application, Redifmail, which is located at the link mentioned in the description below. For your exercise, you could also choose an application or web service for which you would want to create the help documentation. If you have successfully installed the trial version of Help and Manual 9 or have installed a purchased version, you should be able to see the Help and Manual 9 icon on your desktop. If you don't see the icon on your desktop, you could also search for the program using Windows Search. Notice how Search has located the Help and Manual 9 program, and to run it all you need is to click the link. Note that you will be prompted with the Trial Version dialog if you are using the Trial Version. Click OK when you see this dialog and continue. On the main dashboard, which will look as this, click New Project to create a project. The screen refreshes, displaying additional buttons and functions. On this screen, you'll notice several options on how to import help projects that were created using other help authoring tools, such as RoboHelp and AuthorIt. We'll look into this functionality in a subsequent topic. Since we are going to create a project, click the Create an Empty New Project tile. We'll also explore the New Project with Light Styles and the New Project with Modern Styles options later. Clicking the Create an Empty New Project option opens a new page. On this page, you will need to provide two important inputs. One, the title of your project, and two, the location of your project. For our example, we want to create Help for the Web Application, Redifmail, and so in the Project Title field, we enter Redifmail Help. Next, the location of your project needs to be entered into the Output File field. By default, Help and Manual will suggest a location, but here is a very important tip. Make sure your project is not installed on the system drive of your computer. The system drive is the drive where Windows, the operating system of your computer, stores its files. The reason why it is strongly advised not to create your Help and Manual project on this folder is because in the event of a reinstall of the operating system, the entire folder is wiped clean, and there goes your project file as well. Not only your project file, but if you have stored any video, audio, or personal files on the system drive, they are deleted too. Windows does take a backup of your old files, but we highly recommend that you do not rely on this backup. This is the reason why it also pays to partition your hard disk and make sure your working files, such as your help and manual project, and related image files are stored on a non-system drive. So, how do you identify a system drive? If the drive on your hard disk has a Windows or a Windows 32 folder, then that is your system drive. Another simple method to identify your system drive is by clicking on File Explorer in Windows 11 or Computer from the Start menu on older versions. You could also search for Computer using the search that we used earlier to locate the Help and Manual program. In the window that displays the drives of your computer, look out for the Windows logo. On our computer, the Windows logo is located near the C drive, indicating that C is the system folder. 
if you had just one drive, like a C or a D on your computer, then this would be best time to partition your drive into two or more drives, depending on the space available on your hard disk. If you cannot do it yourself, get a techie to do it. Bottom line, create your help and manual project on a non-system drive. Since C is the system drive on our computer, we are going to create the help and manual project on the D drive. By default, the project file has a .hmxp extension. Leave it as it is and just change the portion that reflects the name of your project. In our case, we are naming it to Rediff Mail Help, and we are going to create it in a folder titled HM Projects. Leave all other options as they are. These will be explained in subsequent topics. Next, click Create. If the output folder does not exist, Help and Manual will prompt you asking if it can be created. Click Yes to this. Help and Manual refreshes the page to display your project with the starter chapters, introduction and chapter two, and their topics. In subsequent videos, we'll teach you how to flesh out these topics by adding text, images, and video. We'll also be showing you how to rename, edit, and reposition these topics within the table of contents. Before you exit, always ensure to save your project file by clicking the floppy icon located on the top left corner of your program window. The floppy icon is enabled every time you make a change to your project. You could also press Control S to save the changes made. To close the application, you may either select Exit from the File menu or click the Close button located at the top right corner of the application. Now, go ahead. Create your help and manual project as we have explained in this video. This will be your assignment, and we'll be back with our next video soon.